This is Twit. <laughs> Elon Musk's SpaceX is building a spy satellite network for U.S. Ooh. intelligence agencies. Um, Reuters had this exclusive yesterday. <laughs> I saw this news come out, and first of all, I wasn't too surprised, but I do wonder what is the government thinking now that uh, seeing where Elon has gone after post-Twitter and uh, now where he is on his, um, I don't know, just sort of like anti-Semitic white supremacist bent. I, well, I, uh, very wild. Yeah. Love of China and seeming interest in Russia, and I don't know why that would be a national secure. And his use of his alleged use of drugs that violate many of the rules required to operate certain kinds of government contracts, even though it's not proven. I think it's been denied officially, yeah. but it is alleged by many parties. Been a lot of reporting on it. Uh, so, right, yeah, we we Elon seems like the wrong company to invest in, except he may have the equipment that the government needs right now. Just, it, just wild. It's like, a hard you, thing you, to figure yeah. out. Like, I mean, there's a lot of, I mean, th what he's doing is hard. Like, that's what, that's what he's gotten good at is doing hard things and actually having them come out the other end. Mm -hmm. And that's a, an unusual ability because it's not, and I think that's what's put him in this place is that, you know, Boeing has obviously proved that it's hard, <laughs> you know, like, you know, this is a hard thing for, you know, to get things into space and have them work. And so I think that the, the satellite, you know, obviously um, Starlink has been a prove, you know, a good proving model for that a good test model. The The thing that's important is, is this very large array of satellites um, is much more uh, resistant to, you know, we are in a point where you take out a couple satellites in the United States and suddenly we lose all communication. Like everything right, goes dark right. really fast. And so, um, so I think that, that there is this concern that we've built up these hundred million, you know, 250 million, $1 billion satellites that are up there that are a handful of them. And if they go down, everything goes down, where if you have 12,000 satellites or 50,000 satellites up there, it's a much different thing, apart from the upset upset that this is created for astronomers. Oh, oh no, um, you, just, you just get a buffer overflow error and it goes to every satellite and communicates through mesh networking and they're all down maybe, also. So. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. You know, I think that there's a, there's a lot of, I mean, that's possible, absolutely. Um, but I think that, uh, but it's 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 harder to do that, I will argue, than it is to shoot them down. Like, you know, and, and yeah. so... And well, so, oh, and, yeah, absolutely. And we should not assume that all the countries, all the major countries already have satellites up there that are armed and ready to shoot the other ones down. I mean, that would be, we should not assume that that doesn't already exist. <laughs> so, so, but there's, but the ability to have um, a large number of satellites up there does make a difference. And it, the problem is there's not a lot of other people. Amazon's doing it, but, you yeah. know, I think that uh, there's, there's not a lot of other options, I guess, is what I would say for that. And it is a very needed technology. And so, and the, we've, we've gone to, you know, our country has, has used, you know, MCI was a big benefactor. You know, there was a long time where an MC, if, if you were, if you had a MCI satellite access in Africa and you suddenly lost, uh, suddenly lost connections or your connectivity went down, you knew that uh, AFRICOM was active. <laughs> you, know, like, you know, like so, because they would take over all the satellites. So, the, so the, um, oh, so the, uh, uh, so the, you know, MCI built its entire infrastructure based on supporting the military. So the, so the, um, uh, so I think that we, uh, those are, um, uh, I think that I think we just have to know that they're go we're going to have to use commercial, and so you're going to pick some. Someone's going to be commercial, and he's been the most effective is, of the bunch the most, so far. He's getting it. He's getting you know satellites up there. Starlink is a thing that exists. I think um, I, first of all, I want to get the full context here. Reading, I'm going to read from the Reuters piece. The network is being built by SpaceX's Star Shield business unit under a 1.8 billion dollar contract signed in 2021 with the National Reconnaissance Office, the NRO, the intelligence agency that manages spy satellites. And I think the idea. Is that it's just going to be a global, you know, a global array of uh, of satellites that can, with high quality imagery or with high quality sensors, that can see anybody and track anybody anywhere on the planet at higher detail and resolution than we've ever had before. So yeah, I, I can imagine the U.S. government wants that. Um, my worry is after we saw what happened with Starlink um, early on in the Ukraine and Russia war, right, where it's Elon Musk himself, kind of like enabling and disabling access because um you know all of a sudden uh, he was called in to help because he's the man in charge of this i'm more worried about him than the tech because he's not the guy personally responsible for developing this tech right he has been very good at hiring and taking over companies um that have been developed by other people but also hiring smart people to build his his big dreams so you know that's my I, I worry think, i think the issue yeah. is though is that it's one thing for him to you know starlink uh 
made in a huge difference at the beginning of the Ukraine war, um, you know, to, you know, empowering Ukraine to be basically be able to operate, you know, and be able to have them um, move forward. And I think that it put him in a pretty complicated position. I'm not a big fan of, I'm not saying, but, but it put him in a very complicated position of supporting, you know, getting into a, a war that is not what Starlink was necessarily designed to do. And by the way, the government not paying him to do that either. <laughs> so, so that, you know, so all the costs are all sitting on his shoulders for something that, that, that doesn't, um, that it wasn't what he planned to do with these. So I think that there's, that's on one side. And didn't he volunteer pulling, the resources? Uh, he did. And I, yeah. I think they were going to write him a check at one point, yeah. if I recall as well, but it's, yeah. it's the lack of transparency. He acts like but, a government is well, the issue. Uh, he, lack of transparency on his decision-making and actions that are affecting geopolitical issues. Yeah, but I think that th there's a difference between him affecting the, the how a commercial system is being used in a military application to pulling the rug out of the United States Defense Department like or, or the NRO. That is like, chances of him doing that are pretty low <laughs> you know like you know because I you know would because not put the government asked him at this point so maybe yeah. but i'm just saying that that from a from a statistical perspective that is mm -hmm. the end of all the things like you know like if you did that to the united states government sure. you know, especially to the nro they're not going to have any sense of humor about that you know like you know and and it's and so like there's a gray area when you're doing it inside of the ukraine where there's a mixed uh, support for that and everything else is up and down um, but there's a whole nother thing about like building a contract with the United States government. So I, I think that those are very different. I don't think that they, they live in the same world as far as what the, what yeah. the, he would actually do. Cause that I, would be I hear crazy. that, but yeah. I'm, we're also looking at, uh, this man engaging with white supremacists like several times in the past few days and just like, yeah, but you're talking about that's cutting, him personally. cutting, the, yeah. cutting off yeah. the United States, the United States intelligence agency is the end of all of your companies. Uh, like, yeah, like that just, would be yeah. Yeah. like the government would come down so hard on him. That would be the end of whatever he's doing. Mm. Like it would be, you know, he couldn't get into a contract with the NRO and then mm -hmm. renege on it in any way, shape or form. Um, if, if he's lucky to get out of the country, <laughs> like, you know, like, you know, that's <laughs> like, that's one of those things where, oh, he got into a car accident. How about that? You know, like, and so, so that, you know, but they, they would take that, no sense of humor about yeah. being turned over like that. And so I just don't think, I just, I, mm -hmm. I just think that there's. He does a lot of crazy stuff, but I don't think that's one of the ones that would fit into what he, where he would go because that that is a I think yeah. even he would understand I, how I don't dangerous think, that would be. I don't think that's the issue is I don't trust him with national security, so that's mm -hmm. separate from what would he do. I simply don't trust him with it. Period. I don't think we should be giving money well, to most, his firm based on his actions. Most of these not networks are based on not having trust with other people. Like most of the way the network interacts with the other, the way those satellites are going to interact with each other is not based on trust. I mean, that's how the no, system but he, is built. The money is going to his company. That's the whole point. And regardless, sure. regardless, I mean, fundamentally, do you engage with people who don't act in good faith and don't act in the best interests of the country that is providing the money? But this is this will actually tie in. The, the flip side is who else do you go to? They're the only player oh, because Boeing mismanagement. It all comes back to <laughs> plugs falling out of window or window oh, plugs man. falling out is if Boeing had them been mismanaged for the last 25 years in ways that were obvious, then Boeing might be a viable <laughs> player to provide this service. It, is it goes not. back to witnesses uh, suspiciously dying too. Things yeah, like that's that. weird. They didn't fall, you didn't fall out of a window though, but that's, that's weird. Only, yeah, mm. I feel bad for the guy. You read the reports and it's like, there's a lot of things that are dubious. We don't want to turn this into a Vince Foster mm -hmm. situation, but it's also, I just feel bad for the guy because he was trying to do what's right and maybe experienced. So if, if this, if the narrative that is out there is mm -hmm. to be believed, he just experienced so much pressure. He couldn't continue, mm -hmm. which is very, very sad for what he was trying to do to improve the safety of other people. Yeah. For the, for the SpaceX story, by the way, like I, I'm just wondering, like I'm not Maybe he would not be dumb enough to do something like overtly screwing over the U.S. government. But uh, if it's like, hey, um, maybe when we're covering this particular quadrant of Russia or something, just like it's a little less clear. I'm just know? not it's clear he would know. Detailed. Like, I don't yeah. think, you know, once they yeah. hand off this network to the United States government, he's <laughs> not going to know what's happening. Mm. No, he, he'd he record those videos, you know, you see where you slide <laughs> in the video that repeats and it shows like an ordinary hillside in front of the security camera. <laughs> and you just slide that in front of the satellite that's looking at that part of Russia. No, yeah. yeah, it's, um, I, I, I just what, think what, that it's not, it's the, a lot of those securities go into that process. The, mm -hmm. the control of them, they're putting the, the, birds into the skies, but the control of those birds once they're there is, is going to be pretty uh, sure, limited sure. Of, of what they know, what, what information would have, would go out from them. Hey, thank you for watching this little snippet from our big show, the News Roundtable, This Week in Tech. I'm Leo Laporte. Each week we cover the week's tech news, in-depth analysis, but it's also fun and engaging. You'll find it at twit.tv along with all of our shows. And if you want more, just hit the subscribe button 
And uh, we'll be sure to bring you a lot more great content. Thanks for listening.